The immune system, also known as the lymphatic system, is a vast network of cells, tissues, and organs that protect the body from infection and invaders. Viruses, bacteria, fungi, parasites, and other microbes find the human body to be an ideal environment for living, but the immune system maintains health within the body by working to restrict their growth and entry. One of the immune system's most important roles is to recognize whether cells are healthy or unhealthy. The immune system can be found all throughout the body. Some of the organs that comprise the immune system include lymph nodes, the spleen, bone marrow, and the thymus gland. While there are numerous other organs involved in the immune system, these four are most recognizable. One of the most essential organs of the immune system is the spleen. The spleen is also the largest organ that is found in the lymphatic system. It is located on the upper left portion of the abdominal cavity, behind the stomach. The spleen resembles a large lymph node, which, as previously mentioned, is a mass of lymphoid tissue located along the course of a lymphatic vessel. The spleen is divided into four different chambers, and each chamber functions as a blood reservoir, which can be used by the body in times of need. When it comes to protecting the body, the spleen is very important. The spleen produces a certain type of white blood cell called phagocyte, or macrophage, which is very important to the immune system. These cells engulf and destroy foreign substances that can be carried in the blood as it flows through the sinuses. These foreign substances may be dangerous, and it is necessary that the phagocytes envelop them before they are able to harm the body by infecting it. Along with destroying foreign invaders, the phagocytes that are released from the spleen help to rid the bloodstream of damaged red blood cells. Another vital part of the immune system is bone marrow. Bone marrow is spongy tissue located inside large bones. Lymphocyte development mostly takes place in bone marrow for B cells. Each type of lymphocyte has its own essential purpose. T lymphocytes are responsible for cellular immunity. They secrete specific toxins which trigger the action of B lymphocytes. Another function of lymphocytes are to specify the immune response of the body towards infectious microorganisms and foreign substances. These cells are responsible for humoral immunity. This type of immunity is referred to as humoral immunity because it involves the humors or body fluids. Another type of cells that start to produce in bone marrow are cytotoxic T cells. The DNA from millions of white blood cells in bone marrow is shuffled around to create cells with unique receptors. Each one can bind to a different antigen. Some of these receptors, however, bind to tissues in the body itself. So, in order to prevent the body from attacking its own healthy cells, those particular white blood cells are destroyed by the thymus gland in later development. The thymus is the soft bilobed structure whose lobes are surrounded by connective tissue in the immune system. It is located in the chest. Specifically, it can be found behind the sternum and in front of the heart. It is entirely made up of lymphoid cells. The thymus secretes a hormone called thymosin, which is thought to stimulate the activity of lymphocytes, which are previously mentioned as B and T cells. The thymus is important because T cells develop here so that they can fight off invaders to the body. While T cells develop in the thymus gland, B cells mature in the bone marrow, as mentioned before. The immune system is extremely important to our bodies because without it, we would easily fall victim to disease. With its ability to protect us from foreign invasion and harmful microscopic organisms, we are able to fight microbes and avoid infection.